there has been a lot of argument and controversy and you know about restream if it's okay for your channel or if it's not okay for your channel and that is what i'll be talking about on this video i'm going to talk about the advantages the disadvantages and if if uh, you are being paid from the rest stream and the amount you make and all those stuff so so many people are kind of confused if they are to venture into restream or not if it's going to harm their channel if um they are going to gain anything while some that are already into it are saying that it is a scam because they have done multiple live streaming and there is no views there's no watch hour and all that i'm going to talk about all of them in this video so I'm going, I'm going to be starting with the advantages yes you know that i'm talking out of experience because i got monetized with restream yes i i completed my my watch hour with restream and so i'm talking out of experience not psa or anything so i'm going to start with the advantages yeah number one advantage is you are going to get your watch hour yes yeah that's what the major thing the reason why people want to venture into it you're going to get your watch hour you can get it in a day it's possible in a day because i did that you can get it in one week you can get it in three days depending on how traffic comes in in that particular video or the clip that you use so you're going to get your watch hour and that is what will make you to get monetized quickly then number two is the subscribers yes you're going to get subscribers for those that have not gotten to their you know 1000 threshold for, uh, subscribers so you're going to get your subscribers and your watch hour and it will be easy for you to get monetized remember i'm talking about the advantages and then the third one is the views you're going to get a lot of views yeah when i tried that i know when i started with stream uh i was having like 700 views uh on my channel then just in one week i was able to get up to four point something million views in my channel likewise the the watch hour i talked about i think i have up to 26 thousand watch hour you see my best is i wish i can share it to all of you for those that are looking for it <laughs> yes i have twenty six thousand watch hour on my channel right now and then for subscribers i have like ten thousand plus subscribers on my channel so these are the advantages you get from uh restream and then you can also you know the fourth one is you will monetize quickly and fast yeah, there are so many of them that are already monetized. Yes, most of my uh, besties, those that shared with me and those that did not share with me, but I know that they are already monetized because I can see the dollar sign on their channel. Yeah, so these four uh, points are the advantages of using Restream. So let's go to disadvantages because everything in this life has advantages and disadvantages so it's not left for you my best is to know and choose if you're going to do a stream or not yes so because of um not me uh, for me not to forget anything i'm going to be looking down because i put down some points so that i'm not going to forget and let her remember after filming this uh, uh video so i'm going to be talking about the disadvantages number one of it is that if you don't build your channel like building your own audience like when i started with stream i've already got into my 1000 you know subscribers and my watch hour was just 1500 and i was having challenges of youtube reducing it every time and never knew that i've gotten to my one year 365 days on youtube so i never knew that was the reason why they were deducting my my watch hour and i was complaining every time why is my watch hour reducing but when i started using restream due to the huge watch hour that you that came in 
I was able to get, you know, in less than one week, I was able to get my 4,000 watch or to complete it. So what am I trying to say here? I've already gotten some audience that, you know, that, you know, well, let's say returning audience, yes, that are always watching my videos and I was getting views and all that. Why am I saying this? Because those people that are watching your restream, most of them are from Philippines, from India, from China, and most of them, they don't have strength to sit down and watch your long form video, which you know that is where you want to, you know, channel or your or how you want to build your channel. Yes. So those ones, they will come for your restream because of the sound, how relaxing it is to them, how therapeutic it is to them and all that. They can come for it. But to sit down and watch you talk like this tutorial I'm doing now, they will not do that. So that is one of the disadvantages that is there. So they will not come back to watch your long form video. So it's not left for you to know whether you will continue, you know, turn your channel to only restreaming or doing live streaming. Yeah, that is your own choice. And me, I'll also choose my own choice. I will also make my own choice. Yeah, so that's one of the uh, disadvantages. So it's going to, you know, hinder or reduce the views on your long form video. So in as much as you are doing restreaming, make sure you are also posting video consistently. What well, did I say is consistently? Your consistency may be once a week, or twice a week or three times a week or four times a day depending the strength you have yeah so when we talk about consistency it's not that like you're going to be posting every day every day it's based on how you should do your own posting so number two is you may get copyright strike or copyright claim many people or most of my besties that have you know reach out to me they have complained that they have gotten their watch hours so or even get it you know got it in two days and all that but the challenge there most of them got copyright strike or copyright claim and you know when you get copyright strike you're going to go you know you know they're going to give you you know something is it i can't remember what it, uh, you're going to do a test and after the test you then go on suspension so you're going to be on suspension for 90 days yes so you can see these are uh, these are the disadvantages on restream um for you to be on 90 days or uh, you know strike uh, suspension that means the purpose of you getting monetized now 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 or fast 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 will not be achievable so you can see there are so many people that have the 4,000 watch hour on their channel, they have the 1,000 or more than 1,000 subscribers, but they can apply due to the strike on their channel. But if you have a copyright claim, you can as well use your, you know, you can as well use the, uh, the format or the option there to replace whatever it is. Maybe it's the sound. You can replace the sound or you can replace, you know, you, you know, erase it completely. Yes. So that is number two. Yeah. Number three is reuse content. Most of content creators are always, you know, excited. Maybe they did one of their live stream with Restream and they got a lot of watch hour views and all that so without even thinking they will go back and use the same clip the next day and that is a reuse content when i was doing autopost if you check it all of the videos i was using they are all different i didn't or i i didn't use you know reuse the same video over and over again no and that is the disadvantage you, you, you can get warning or get a claim in a, a copyright claim or copyright strike because of reuse content so if you are doing restreaming or you choose to do restreaming make sure that you don't use you know uh, the same video second time or severally yes and then that brings me to another point Please, 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 if you want to build your channel like 
um you are just starting you are just having like 200 300 you can as well try as much as you can to use your own clip your own video do something exciting in your own video and that will help you to get the audience that will also watch it and also watch your long form video why do i say that because if you use your own clip and maybe you're a vlogger and use your own clip of some you know part of your video you can just you know record something you know one minute two minutes video and then use it as your restream what the, the challenge there is that you are not going to get that huge you know views i mean you uh traffic you know there's one of my uh, race stream i was having like 900 steady people watching it uh, 600 steady people watching it 500 800 but if you're using your own clip you may be seeing 60 40 20 10 people watching it yeah it can be safer safe uh but you're not going to get your you know uh watch hour and a subscriber faster in that way so maybe it, it may take you like two weeks one week depending on the audience you have yeah so that brings me to the end of the disadvantages remember what i said is going to if it slow down on your long form videos in case if you don't have audience already it's going to reduce the views that you have in your long form videos in you know, the copyright claim and copyright strike and reuse content issue yeah and then that brings us to do i earn from restream or not i have made a video before how you can end during and after live streaming and some people are still confused some even come to my in the comment section asking i should show them the actual amount i'm making from those videos to know whether they will continue with the rest streaming or not and some are like confused am i maybe i'm lying today or not don't worry i'm going to make a you know a video specifically on how much i made from restream on that particular video yeah but to just you know put this one in place you can earn from your live streaming no the question is do you earn from the views no i don't earn from the views i earn from the ads as that pay your needs and then those that super chat or super tanks and super stickers that come in when I am doing the rest stream then and the advert that people watch during the live stream yes and then after the live stream you're going to uh, YouTube will continue the fresh counting of your views and watch hour and all the rest. so the advert played after is what you're going to earn as well so yes you earn from your live streaming but the cp uh, the cpm and the rpm are very low there are some of them that doesn't even have rpm and some that have cpm is very very small so that brings us to the end of this video if you have watched up until this point don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed and don't forget to watch the ads don't forget to you know to be there because i'll keep on bringing up good you know valuable content to your end and as well you can also sign up for my membership or join my membership for a good you know exclusive pegs from this channel thank you so much for watching i had it all thank you see you next in my next video yeah <laughs>